Welcome to your ultimate beginner's guide to Building 21 in DMZ. We'll be covering the locations of all the access card rooms and how to get them, secret activities around the map that will grant you some really good loot, the Velican boss fight and the Wilson fight, and the weapon case easter egg. To sit back, get comfy, and let's do this. Now the first and most fundamental thing about Building 21 to understand if you don't already is how to get into it. And for those of you out there that still don't know, you need to get a key card. You can find these now Masra through several different methods, such as finding them in legendary crates, from eliminating HVTs, from supply drops, that come from the public supply drop event from SAM sites that will shoot them down, as well as a supply drop from the Commander Helo. And you're specifically looking for this, the DRC Building 21 access card. If you find colored ones, that will help, but that won't get you in there. Depending on when you're watching, Building 21 might not actually be active. When you deploy, you get to choose between our Masra and Building 21. Picking it will use your key card, and there are times where this will be active and playable, and there'll be times where it won't be with a timer. Now, Building 21 plays a lot differently to how you approach gunfights in our Masra, so your loadouts are going to be drastically different, and here's the loadouts I recommend. So the first weapon I recommend for your loadouts is going to be this, the Bryson 890. But this gun is incredible for taking out AI up close, as well as close quarters PvP engagements. So you want the Bryson Shredder Barrel with this tuning, the SAMX50 with this tuning, the 12 Shell Mag, the Demo X50 Tactical Guard with this tuning, and the Sword Off mod. Combine that with a second insured slot, with a riot shield and you've got a crazy good combination but in the trio i definitely recommend someone run some sort of ar smg and i highly recommend the fennet the vok laser the x10 r40 muzzle with this tuning the shark fin under barrel with this tuning the fennec mag 45 and the ftac lock tight stock with this tuning. Another amazing sub you could use is the Lackman sub. I've also found the TAC 56 to be amazing as well. Once you spawn into building 21, you're going to spawn in one of four exits, either on the bottom floor level one or level two. If you're ever lost and want to know where you are from the moment you spawn in, once you go through the first two doors, there will always be a map on the wall next to a door that leads to the staircase. And it will show an arrow to say you are here. Now you have 13 minutes from the game starting before radiation comes in. When there are 12 minutes left, there will be a prompt on your screen saying, security locks hack in progress with a one minute countdown. What this essentially means is there are a load of doors on all the floors that won't be open until that minute countdown has ended. When it has, there'll be another prompt that says security locks deactivated on all floors extract top value items. And this is where the map really comes alive because there are secret areas on each floor which you can now access. Just before we go in and explaining all of these secret rooms, we've got to explain one other really important thing. As you play, you'll also notice prompts on your screen every minute or two with the protection level raised starting at LP Con Alpha and going all the way through Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and Echo. What this essentially means is every two minutes or so, the AI difficulty is going to increase. There's going to be more AI. There's going to be more heavily tiered AI. And not only does this appear on your screen, but you'll also see every TV monitor, laptop around Building 21 that will constantly remind you of the current threat level. And there's five minutes to go, you'll get to LP Con Delta, and that will remain until you get all the way to zero before the radiation starts coming in where you'll get to LP Con Echo, which will be the hardest difficulty with the strongest AI, where you have three minutes in order to extract. And this is where the AI are going to be at their most difficult. And let's talk everything secret rooms. We'll start by showing you the ones on the ground floor, with this room being the generator room. Now, in order to find that, you're going to come to the basement hallway and where you have the data center, right opposite will be a door that will lead you into a room called the transition room. If you make your way to the back left of the transition room, you will see a door which you have to hold to unlock lock and inside will be the generator room where inside there will be a bunch of AI there also might be a riot shielder or two but once you've taken them out there'll be a few weapon crates for you to open with the chance of there being a safe for you to crack as well with even more loot inside now another one of these secret rooms is going to be on the second floor on the office floor in this corner here we can see on the map if you come here take a left and then go inside here you will see that there is this door here go ahead and unlock the door open it and then we'll be in this office here where we have yet another door to open and once we open that there'll be quite a few ai and this is an area called the archives and there'll be a few ai here there'll be a riot shielder which is going to make life hell so we'll take that out real quick but in this little section here you'll find we have a chest here and inside we got some really good loot there and then right at the back here we've got some large backpacks we've got another chest and then there's also a few other things you can find in here and then there's deadlocks there and a deadlock 
there, which takes you back out into this room. The third secret room is on level three laboratory floor. Just keep following it along and you'll find the side door. And once you're in, it will say side lab under attack. And there's two doors that we open. And inside, this is going to be the side labs where there's going to be a ton of AI, very strong armored AI. But inside, you're also going to find a ton of really good loot. There's inside this room, which can grant you some key cards to get into some rooms that we'll talk about in a moment, which is really good weapons. There is one more secret room on the third floor and where the armory room is instead of going left down that corridor take a right and take this door and it'll lead you into an area called the core lab which is also looking like a bit like a hospital core lab area is pretty small but where i'm looking at at the exit directly here to my right is these doors you got to unlock called the drc doors these are pretty big you have to actually go up to them hold square to actually unlock the doors you'll be in this little area and then there'll be another set of doors to unlock and inside i was not prepared at all but there was a bunch of ai including riot shielders but at the back you can see there were three special crates as well as a safe so if you can get into this place you have the chance to get some really good loot now the last secret room is the one that has the weapon case in it and is hidden behind a small easter egg so let's show you how to do it like we spoke about a little bit earlier you're gonna want to wait for the security lock hack to be completed once that is done in the bottom floor basement hallway you want to open up to this door which will lead you into a room called the data center and inside of this room there's going to be a specific server Server that you're going to want to go up to and you'll get a prompt to hold your interact in order to hack the server. Now you need to hold on to this button for the entire time that the bar is on your screen. You can't let go of it and AI are going to spawn and try and take you out. So it's best that in your trio that the other two players protect the player that's hacking the server. But once the server's hacked, you'll get a prompt saying data center hacked armory room is now accessible. And when you make your way up to the third floor on the laboratory floor, you keep following it along. Eventually you'll get to one of these two doors that look like this that are going to be open that will lead you into the armory room there'll be the prompt that the armory room is under attack and inside of there there will be a safe which you're going to want to hold interact to place a drill onto and once the drill is complete inside the safe will contain the weapon case now there are no juggernauts involved in this it's simply just opening this safe but since a lot of players now know about this in game there's a chance that there will be a team that will be going to that server room and hacking the server pretty quickly whilst there could be a completely different team team waiting on the top floor in order to wait by the room's doors to open and then go in use the drill get the case and then exfil before the first team that done the hacking in the first place will get there the whole lobby will be alerted when one of you has picked up the weapon case if you want to wait until an exfil appears before taking it out of the safe that might be a safer bet and whilst enemy players can't track the case in real time on a mini map they can see it on the map every five to ten seconds now regardless if you're getting the weapon case or not we now need to talk about exfilling because it works a lot differently to our Mazra. Rather than be an exfil helicopter, there are now exfil elevators. When one is marked on the map, you'll have to go up to the elevator and hold your interact to call the elevator, which will have a 30 second timer in game before the elevator arrives. Once it's open, you need to get inside of it and then use the elevator buttons and the doors will slowly close over the course of 20 seconds. So you have to hold out in that elevator for a total of 20 seconds where any AI all real players have the chance to fire away at you and I really do recommend the riot shield especially when you're exfilling here because it will just make your life a lot easier protecting yourself as much as you think you're safe you have every chance of still dying during the exfil in the elevator but for the weapon case you just need to repeat that six times in six different games where you exfil with it and you will unlock all six rewards and I have a full video on all of the rewards which you can check out on your screen now or link below but now let's talk about all of the dangers within building 21 because as you've already noticed it's full of shadow company AI, which are all basically tier three AIs, which are extremely strong, wielding shotguns, LMGs, SMGs, and ARs, which all are very good ground loot if you manage to kill them and pick them up. There's some really good weapons here, such as the Chimera, the M13B, TAC-56, the Rao MG, the RPK, several different shotguns. But on top of these extremely strong AI, we also have two bosses to deal with, one being the Wilson and the other being being Velikan. The Wilson is a killstreak that was in MW 2019 and now it's a fully automated turret 
on wheels that's patrolling the top floor of building 21 with a blue laser and a turret that will just fire at you whenever it sees you. Now you don't have to take this thing out at all but if you're going to be x-filling on this top floor you're gonna want to take it out because it is going to make that x-fill really difficult. And the best advice I could give you is to run thermite grenades. When you throw them at this thing it's going to obviously do a lot of damage over time. You get two or three accurate thermites on it as well as gunfire and you'll take it down really quickly. It gives you 2000 XP as well as dropping a ton of encrypted hard drives. Most importantly it drops a black key card. Now we'll talk about these different colored key cards in a moment but the black key card can only drop from the Wilson. Now the second and main boss of building 21 is Velikan who will spawn into a game of building 21 when there's four and a half minutes left on the clock before radiation comes in. Now Velikan spawns from the elevator on the top floor mezzanine area and does loops around the top floor. And at a distance, he looks like a normal Shadow Company AI, but he is wielding a grenade launcher and he is not afraid to spam you with this thing. He is a ridiculously tanky boss that has a ton of health, but when you do take this thing out, eventually he will drop a grenade launcher for you to pick up and you can exfil with this thing and use it in future runs of DMZ and Almazra and Building 21. And this thing will absolutely destroy any trio in your path. And I know because I have been victim to it. This is an exclusive weapon that doesn't exist in multiplayer or warzone. I think it's really awesome that this is included. This is of course optional. You don't have to kill Velikan or the Wilson, but the rewards you get are pretty sweet. Now let's talk about the locations for all of the secret colored access key cards that you might have gotten in our Mazra. We have four different key cards. We have a green card, a blue card, a red card, and a black card. As we mentioned previously, the black card can only be gotten by destroying the Wilson as well as taking down Velikan. But the blue, green, and red key cards can be found in building 21 or found in Almazra, which you can then deploy into building 21. Let's first go over the green key card because it can actually be used in multiple rooms. The first main green card room is going to be in the garage and it's going to be right in the back middle of the garage. It'll be this green door. You just use it and inside you'll find a series of rare crates as well as some duffel bags that you can search through. This is the only key card that has multiple areas that you can use them because the green card can also be used in the maintenance room. As you see here in this room there is not one but two green doors that you can use the key card on to unlock and get yourself some extra loot. Key cards are single use only unfortunately so you can't be using it to open all the doors in here. Let's now move on to the location for the blue card and this is going to be in the transition room which is directly opposite the data center room on the bottom floor. When you get inside this room just turn left and use the key card on this blue door and inside you'll have all the loot. The red access key card will take you to a red door which is on the second floor floor in the office floor. As you make your way down this corridor, just turn to your right and you'll see the door for the red access card. And finally, the black access card can be found in a hallway near the basement hallway in the garage. It's going to be in one of those areas off to the side where there's going to be a lot of corridors with some smaller rooms that you can look inside. And on the right, there should be the black card access door, which you'll open and will have one of the best amounts of loot that you can get out of all of those access rooms. Another room really important part of building 21 which I've not seen many people realize exists is that there is one singular buy station and you can find it on level two right in the middle of the building 21 area this open X section here where you have one elevator to exfil and then that sort of back hall with another elevator to exfil there's just simply one buy station here and it sells some unique items that you won't find in Almazra such as revive pistols which are extremely useful in building 21 and you can use them to revive teammates as well as yourself but that's everything for my building 21 ultimate guide if you found it useful please drop a like rating subscribe to the channel for more and i'll catch you very very soon